Welcome back to Melina the Talk Show. Today we are discussing the topic of why do people lie? Liar, liar, pants on fire. So with me now is my guest, Stephanie Thompson. She's an actress and she is also the host of her own talk show, Behind the Entertainment Scene. Welcome to Melina the Talk Show. Thank you, Melina. It's <laughs> nice to be here. <laughs> well, thank you for spending time with us today. And we're going to just jump right in. But as you know, we get comfy. We get real here. Yes. So take your shoes off. Okay. Let's get comfy. <laughs> and let's talk about this lying business. Okay. Now, I don't understand it myself. We're just going to, you know, forget the pretense. Yeah. What? It, why do people find it necessary to be untruthful? And this is something that I know a lot of our viewers are wondering because we, at some point in time, we heard from our guest earlier about how people n are not truthful in the professional aspect, but in personal lives. Right. Like, what? Okay, we, we just have to talk about this. Well, I think, for one thing, people lie because they want to be liked. Mm. They want to tell you something because they want you to be happy. And yeah. they want to be liked, and they want you to like them. And I think also people lie because it's their escape from reality. Mm. And it's it's their only way to escape reality. Yeah. And so they tell a lie because they don't know how to face reality. That That is absolutely true. And they want to yeah. live in their own created, their fabricated world. Mm -hmm. And even though, and, and to some extent, you know, that's what we, that's what movies are for. We know yes. this. That's what television is for. That is escapism where we can live in that. But yes. for people to actually consistently just, I mean, they're called um, pathological liars. People yes. who just automatically say things that are not truthful. It is, it can be so frustrating for people on the other side. Like, Absolutely. You know, wh why do, why do people do this? And yeah. so first, I think it's so important that we discuss the types of lies mm -hmm. that people tell and why okay. they tell them. Well, let me give you an example. Okay. So we, let's talk about, let's talk about a lie. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if a singer comes up to me, because you know, I'm a singer. I'm a classically trained, inspirational pop singer, songwriter. Love it. Yes. Love thank it. you. <laughs> okay. So let's see, let's talk about a lie. Okay, yes. So as a singer, a lot of times singers come up to me and say, you know, like they'll perform and I'll see them and they'll ask me, well, how do you think I did? Well, if they didn't do a great job, mm -hmm. you know, if I see things that, you know, that weren't great, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna sit and tell them, you did awesome, you're on your way to the top, you're definitely gonna make it. Mm -hmm. That would be an outright lie. It would, it you know? absolutely would. And I wouldn't feel good about that. So what do you say to them? So a white lie would be, you know, you did a good job, keep practicing. Okay, okay, that's a you good know? way to, to do that. Now we all go to theater, mm -hmm. and as fellow actresses, we know what the pressure is on that stage. Absolutely. And when the, when the play is over, when the mm -hmm. musical, when the show is over, mm -hmm. and we go out and we greet our friends. Yes. Our friends are and family members who have supported us. Yes. They all say, oh, you did so great, you did so wonderfully, which, which probably is true. Yeah. But that's not necessarily true for everyone no. there. No, no. So, you know, if you're going to see a play of one of your dear friends. Yes. And it's after, the, and you know, they're expecting. You always say, you know, mm -hmm. accolades to, even if the play was terrible, and this has happened. Yes, yes. I mean, I know, I'm guilty of it. I will say, oh, you did so, that was such a great show. You did great. You did, knowing full well. They yeah. were horrible. Yeah. But they're my friend. And yeah. I don't want to hurt their feelings. And it's their, and you want to so be liked, right? I just, no, I, yes, okay, liked is okay, yeah. but I, what is more important to me at that point is I don't want to hurt you their feelings. You don't want feelings. to hurt their feelings, I of don't course. want, because I know what it takes to get into character, to get ready to go sure. on stage. And I also don't necessarily blame them, because if they had a really good director, yeah. then they're only following through with the direction. Mm -hmm. So I fully blame the director if the show isn't good. Okay. So my heart is, as an actress as well, my heart is with my actor friends, and I'm like, you you did the best that you could with what you had. Right. Because if it were that terrible in the director's eyes, they would not have let it go on. Right, so right. So I'm, I'm, I want to tell the truth, 
even though it may not be the whole truth. And so in that way, it, it's kind of a sticky subject. It That's is. Just, it is sticky. What do you think? What do you think? So in that situation, I guess, yes, a white lie is appropriate. You okay. would, you know, I would probably say something like, you know, you really rose to the occasion. An excellent way to put it. I'm going to use that from now on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but now, what do you do if, like, your grandmother is baking this cake for you, mm -hmm. and she's put so much time and effort and energy into it, and it tastes terrible? Like, is it okay? Do you, do you think that it's okay to, to kind of tell a little fib, tell, just to save your sweet 85 year old grandmother's feelings I do like, yeah I really do I, I at that so point too. I think it is yeah. because I mean it the white the the, the lie slash white lie yeah. is not gonna hurt anyone no. but your sweet dear grandma's feelings are gonna be hurt exactly if you tell her the truth so <laughs> exactly. you know I mean there are ways around it right but um yeah I mean but then at the same time if you tell her oh man, that was amazing, Grandma, you might get it again. So you, you, you might want to be careful exactly what you say. Yeah, you that's know? true. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. But um, I would definitely find some way to say, you know, wow, you really made me feel special, mm -hmm. you know, to cook for me like this kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, say that and then say, but you know what? You know, I really love the carrot cake. I yes. really love the lemon, so that hopefully yes. you don't have to go into that situation of getting it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Change yes. the subject to what you really want. Yes. Yes. But now, going back to why do people lie? Yeah. It's, you know, some people lie, and I've done some research on this, especially psychology today, that some people, and I found this very interesting, is that some people lie because they feel like if they tell the truth, that they're going to lose control. So mm. they lie to control the situation. Interesting. Interesting. I read that and I was like, hmm, let's talk about so this. So that's like a manipulation. Right. They're, They're trying to manipulate the event. Exactly. So that they get the desired outcome that they want. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. I never thought about that. I never thought about that either. Huh. I know. Wild. Okay. Yeah. Wow. It's something to think about. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So... Okay, so if someone lies because they want to manipulate an outcome, then they have to continue to lie. Exactly. So that, that's when you get into the pathological exactly. liar. Exactly, it snowballs, it snowballs. And it's it a snowballs. habit. It's it a does. habit. It gets to be a habit. Yeah. And it's actually, to some people, it's addicting. If they get the desired outcome that they oh, want, yeah. they, then they like, just want oh, more. I can just, I can just say this. I can just I, say this. I, I, can, I can get away with yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. But, and you know, some people lie because they actually believe the lie. They it, think it is the truth yes. to them. And, you know, there's a saying that Gandhi did not really say, but um, he's credited with saying that you be the change that you want to see in the world. Now, he, he didn't, didn't really say, say He didn't say it that way. Okay. But people interpret it that way, so oh, they will okay. perpetuate this lie and, because, and then put it on Gandhi. Poor uh -huh. Gandhi. <laughs> and then they actually say it and say it and say it and believe it and want others to believe it because and then put it on which they're lying and saying mm -hmm. that Gandhi said it and he didn't say it. Yeah. So yeah. that's a thing that people do because well, they feel because like they're they doing Well because they want to believe the lie. Yes. And they've and been told by Gandhi that, to, that to be the change that they see in the world. Yeah. And yeah. that's what they're doing. And yeah. they're so they don't even see it as a lie. They don't even think they don't even consider it as a lie. Yeah. It's insane. It's insane. It and is. people you know, I have a, a little story here where okay. I, I have told a fib. Okay. <laughs> it was actually quite terrible. So I was talking on the phone to, we'll say, so-and-so. Okay. Okay. So I was talking on the phone to so-and-so about this film project. And so then somebody clicked in, such and such clicked in. Okay. And I said, oh, my goodness, such and such is on the phone. Hold on one second. And he's like, oh, my gosh, I cannot stand him. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I don't, he is a terrible actor. I don't like to. Oh, he's. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay, well, hold on one second. So, hey, how are you, such and such? Oh, hey, Malina, I'm doing fine. How are you? I said, you know what? I'm actually on the other line with so-and-so. So let me. Oh, you're on the line with so-and-so. Well, tell him I said, hey. I said, you know what? I will. He told me to tell you to call him and say hello to you. And call him. 
<laughs> he said, oh, really? Oh, call him and I'm going to talk to him. All right, I'll talk to you later. I was like, okay, bye. And I, hey, how you doing? Back to, such and such. in my head, I'm like, why did I say that? But I just said it. It just came out. Yeah. And, whew. I don't so, know. <laughs> so what what do you think what do you think was your reason for for doing that? Because that was like a pretty it was outrageous it was lie. Outrageous. And it just popped out. It just popped out. But yeah. I it was because I really honestly they were two they still are two really good people. Okay. And I wanted them to get along. And Okay. I guess just okay. it was just my natural spirit was just like, okay, well maybe whatever it is that so and so doesn't like about such and such that maybe if they talk, they can work it out. So in your heart, yeah. you wanted it to be a good outcome. I really did. You had good intentions. I had good intentions. I did not so want a war between. That's not a <laughs> that's not a malicious lie. No, so that's, no, it wasn't that's, malicious that's, that's, at all. That's that's a little different. That's it, it, you know it that's what you call a fib. <laughs> okay, that's that's good to oh, know. You know, I'm so glad we're talking about this because I've yeah. never told anybody that. Like, uh, I've been holding on to that to this moment and I've been feeling so terrible about it. No, I don't think you should feel terrible about it because you you were definitely, you were had good intentions yeah. toward so-and-so. Yes. Or so-and-so and such-and-such to get along. I really did. And um, did it happen? Did they end up getting along? I don't know. I um, never talked to such and such anymore. Oh, after that, oh. we didn't do the film project we were talking about. Never okay. followed up, and I so I don't well, know. But who knows? Who maybe down the line sometime find you'll out. find out. I will find out. I'll and find then, out. And then you I can mean, see. I could pick up the phone and call, but I just yeah, kind of bother. That was like four years ago. So oh, okay. I, I mean, this wasn't recent. This was a while back. So let me okay. ask you: Have you ever had a situation like that? Not, of course, probably not like that, but because that's just a flat out lie. Yeah. But have you ever? Been in a situation that's yeah. I I <laughs> I've I've told a fib. <laughs> oh, Stephanie. Yes, I have. Um, yeah, I um. Tell, tell, tell. Come on, we get comfortable. I we was get talking real. to so and so, and um, she was asking about uh, or so and so was asking about their life and mm. um, and wanting advice and um. I I gave encouragement when when and and told you know and and told her not the truth because I didn't want to hurt her feelings mm. and I just couldn't I just couldn't go there and <sighs> because when the person you're talking to is so sensitive yeah. you just can't I just can't I just can't go there mm, mm -hmm. so yeah I've done that before yeah and they ended up just but it, again it was from the heart yeah it was good intention yes because yes. i don't want to i don't want to crush someone right you know i, right. I don't want to i don't want to crush a spirit right no you know no. and so i don't know if you call that a fib or a white lie or what what you call it but i mean well it's a little fib but you know i mean it just yeah. proves the point it honestly yeah. proves the point that we've all had it you know the question is is it better to tell a little lie or a white lie or is it better to tell the truth all the time and just as in anything you know there's no one straight answer for I, everything i think there it, are gray areas yes it I depends on the situation gray areas, it you know. definitely depends on the situation it does and you know how we perceive something so mm -hmm. you know we were talking earlier Mm -hmm. about how when people say that they're going to call right back. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Right back means within a certain amount of time. Yes. Right back. Yes. Right back does not mean, mean days, days or weeks, weeks later. later. Right. No. no. That would be, I'll call you later. Right. Right, right. back means, and to me, and I've had to have lots of discussions mm -hmm. with some people about this. Yeah. And I'm like, you're you're lying. You said you're gonna call right back and you didn't call right back. That means you're lying. Okay. And so but So is this they don't perceive is it this to a, be a lie. lie? Is this a lie? Do they honestly mean to call you right back and they just get hung up? Is this a lie or is this communication? Hmm. Is this a communication problem? I want to believe, because these are people that are close to me, yeah. I really want to believe that they, they just got caught up and mean to, yeah. and just time gets away. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go with that you belief, have to although go, it hurts my feelings because I, I feel like it's You a have to go on a, situa <laughs> at a person by person uh, 
I think, scenario because you know the person who does that to you. Yes. And you know their character. Yes. What is their character in other situations? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. So, I mean, I don't want to speak against anyone you No, these about, are a couple of people so. that do this. It's, it's, just, okay. it's, it's a guy thing. It's okay. a guy thing. It's yeah. just, I don't think women do that. But um, yeah. we are, thank you so much. We're running out of time. Okay. But I did want to give you an opportunity to talk about your talk show. Oh, great. Um, well, it's called Behind the Entertainment Scene. Okay. And um, I have guests that are entertainers, singers, dancers, um, artists, comedians, and I bring them on and they talk about, they share their inspirational stories, mm -hmm. secrets to their success, and lessons they've learned along the way. Nice. And they kind of um, give encouragement to people who want to follow in their footsteps. So oh. it's, it's, it's nice. And I really get an opportunity to meet some incredibly creative and wonderfully talented people. So, oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Now, how so, long have you been doing the show? And where can people watch it? I've been doing the show since the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. And you can watch it on, well, it's on channel 31.1 if you have the antenna, if you don't have cable. Mm -hmm. But if you have cable, you can get it on Google Box on channel 168. Or you can just go to aktvshows.com. And you can see we have three TV shows on there, Amy Kardashian and the Experts, uh, Judy Morio and um, World of Books, and then my show, Behind the Entertainment Scene, and you can check all of our shows out. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh, that's so wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Oh, that's so fantastic. Well, Thank I'm you. definitely watching. And Great. please support our friend Stephanie and her show. And thank you so much for just talking about this that everyone thinks about, but no one ever says, why do people lie? I think we've hit on it, and I think we've covered some bases. Absolutely. So thank Absolutely. you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. It was, it was fun. It was. By the way, I love your necklace. I oh. had to tell you that. Thank you. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Thank you so much. This is actually my jewelry line. Oh, yes. it is gorgeous. Uh, thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. On yes. Etsy, Crystal Coral Seas. You can find it on Etsy. Okay, very nice. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And thank you for tuning in today. I hope we answered some of your questions about why do people lie. I think we did. So see you next time. Thanks for tuning in to Melina the Talk Show. You need to watch this woman's show. Welcome to Melina the Talk Show, where we talk about things that everyone thinks about but rarely ever says. And I want you to make sure you turn with Melina because yeah. she's a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>